Hi, I'm Dr. Singhania from Singhania Clinic and I'm going to talk to you about Down syndrome and how to help your baby. What is Down syndrome? It's one of the commonest genetic disorders seen in one in every thousand babies when an extra part of genetic material gets stuck into chromosome 21. You know, when a baby is conceived, 23 chromosomes are got from the parent uh, from the mother and 23 from the father so they are 46 but sometimes an extra bit gets lodged in the chromosome number 21 and this can cause profound effect on the child's mental and physical growth we are not sure what really causes it but certainly an older parent uh, when the mother is over 35 the incidence rises to one in 400 babies though it cannot be prevented it can be diagnosed in the antenatal period that is when the mother is pregnant pregnant so parents can decide what they want to do. What are some of the problems seen in these children? Well apart from their physical features which are typical they may have a flat face, a small head, they have the typical anti-mongolite upward tipped eyes, a large tongue, their tone, the muscle tone is weak, they may not be very tall, they may have low set ears like a little pot belly but apart from that they have other medical problems which must be be identified and treated early on. For example, congenital heart defects, large percent of children, I think almost 50% may have a congenital heart problem. Uh, so a cardiologist is involved very early in the baby's life. Hearing problems are common, not only because of neurological hearing problems, but also because these children have uh, recurrent ear infections and because they have defective immunity, they may have frequent infections resulting in hearing loss. They also may have vision problem like uh, squints, near or far sightedness etc. The other important medical problems which must be reviewed periodically is thyroid problems. Hypothyroidism is seen in many of these children at any time so it may not be there in the early years but it may come at a later stage and thyroxine is very important for brain development so it must be identified early. In intestinal abnormalities they may have because of their low tone they may have constipation they may have difficulty of digestive digesting uh, food epilepsy and seizure disorders are also seen obesity and respiratory problems often they because of the low muscle tone the poor movement of the cilia or the hair in the the cleaning hair in the uh, respiratory system uh, they may have frequent uh, infections there is a higher risk of childhood leukemias. Very important is the upper neck abnormalities, the atlantoaxial dislocation which can occur if a child falls in the playground. So children with Down syndrome who are going to mainstream or even to any school must have their x-ray of the neck taken to see if they have this condition. If you are seeking help, please visit our website www.singhaniaclinic.com or call us on the number shown below. Thank you for watching.